Hello everyone! Today we'll explore the powerful capabilities of Codium AI, an AI-based testing tool that allows developers to generate meaningful tests easily and automatically right from the IDE. We are going to look at Puppeteer, a Node.js library which provides a high-level API to control Chrome or Chromium over the DevTools protocol. The project has quite an extensive suite of test cases, which test the supported functionalities under Puppeteer Core Library. We'll navigate through the existing code base and use Codium AI to generate new tests automatically. There are three different ways you can do this with Codium AI. The first method, you can generate tests from components directly. This is a great way to test components where the test setup is not complex and specific to your project. This includes individual functions, modules, or classes, and the interactions between different parts of the application. In this case, we can also use reference tests, which we'll talk about a bit later. You can also generate tests from a single simple test for the component, which enables you to take into account the test setup you have in your project without writing too many tests. Some people write a single test in the style of the project and then generate tests on top of it. And finally, you can also extend the existing test suite, which is great for cases where the test setup is complex, or you want the AI to learn from your preferred practice, or you want to simply take into consideration existing tests to not create duplications. Puppeteer is a Node.js library, which provides a high-level API to control Chrome or Chromium over the DevTools protocol. Most things that you can do manually in the browser can be done using Puppeteer, for example, automating form submission, UI testing, keyboard input, generating PDFs from pages, capture a timeline trace of your site to help diagnose performance issues, test Chrome extensions, and much more. For unit testing in JavaScript, some popular Node.js unit testing frameworks include Jest, Mocha, and Ava. However, today we will explore unit testing using Mocha and Jest, the default test suite of TypeScript. Mocha is one of the de facto testing tools available, popular because of its ease of use and different testing functionalities. Chai is an assertion library used with Mocha, and it provides various functions to compare the actual and expected output. Our focus today would be enhancing the test suite for deferred functionality, which creates and runs a deferred object along with the resolve or eject functions. The implementation of the deferred promise function allows an asynchronous function to prevent other code from interfering with the progress or status of its internal request. There are tests present for checking the functionality of timeout and error handling, which is mostly the entire functionality. Given that we have a good test coverage, coming up with new test ideas is a little difficult. This is exactly where Codium AI really shines. We'll now let Codium AI brainstorm some tests for us. There are multiple tests that can be generated. Let's choose one of them. Once the tests have finished generating, you'll find a set of tests crafted by Codium AI tailored specifically to our project in the Advanced Tests panel. Now, there are a couple of edge cases that have been suggested. Some that test if a resolved deferred returns the correct value. Some check for proper error handling on timeout signal. Let's now add it to the code and make sure it runs. And as you can see, the test runs correctly. All tests ran successfully, and if we look at deferred promise, we can see it runs correctly as well. Let's look at the configuration options before we continue. You can see you can add instructions, which are specific prompts that can guide Codium AI in test generation. We're going to use the Jest framework, and we can also optionally incorporate custom configuration file or alter the default behavior. Within this config file, you can customize the number of tests created, more or less than the default six, instructing whether to use mocked values or updating test file path. In addition, Codium AI allows you to tweak existing tests automatically. For instance, for our test case, checking if a deferred object is able to resolve within the timeout period, if you want to add the option of handling the scenario when the object is not resolved within the timeout period, and proper error handling, you can just use this ChatGPT-like functionality to change the existing test. Let's add the instructions 
and watch as the model dynamically adjusts the test to incorporate these additional checks. There we go, and we're all done. We added tests from Codium AI's suggestions, reviewed them, and even modified them using the ChatGPT-like functionality, Codium AI's intelligent code analysis feature. Let's now take a look at how we can generate a completely new custom test with Codium AI. Let's look at the event emitter module. Looking at the code, it's an essential function logic used across the module and powers the API as well. We have a couple of tests already existing. Event emitter is used across various other modules. Let's look at the usage in the decorators module. Looking at the existing test suite, it tests the functionality of invoke at most once for arguments and bubble decorators by creating instances of classes and invoking their decorated methods. We'll first let the AI generate a test for us to extend the existing test suite. Coming to the advanced panel, Codium AI gave us a couple of tests some to test the edge cases, while some are error cases. One of them is checking if bubble decorator works as expected when it comes to emitting an event from the field accessor and handling it correctly. But what happens when there are multiple method calls chained together? Ideally, each call should be handled graciously. Let's ask for another test using the new custom test widget. Codium AI will generate a test for us, We'll copy it over and see that it runs correctly. Given the test case, we had to update the input values to true and comment out the emit event code since emit property does not exist on Boolean. After our adjustments, we run the test again and it executes correctly. Adding a new custom test was as simple as specifying the requirement, asking Codium AI to generate the test, adding it to our file, and voila, we are done. It's worthwhile to note that Codium AI has a PR pull request assistant, which you can use to automate many of the tasks associated with creating a pull request, like generating a description, suggesting improvements, looking for similar issues, and more. To conclude, we created a test using Codium AI for an open source project in TypeScript, making sure that it works correctly within the context of the project, entirely within Visual Studio Code. To learn more, please go to codium.ai and get the plugin directly from the website. Thank you for joining us today and happy coding.